Funding now on Indiegogo, it's Shadowbinders, our second chance offer to get two hardcovers of our classic webcomic delivered to your door. Steampunk, fantasy, and romantic comedy from Clownfish Comics. Go to Indiegogo, check out the link in the description below. Now on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're trying to figure out uh, what is up with Hasbro. Hasbro suddenly changing everything, uh, apparently to be more woke. I um, don't know. There's I don't know. Something. There's definitely something going on at Hasbro. Something's in the water at Hasbro. We're going to talk about Monopoly. The Hasbro's diversity and inclusion department is apparently going to going to rework Monopoly. This is after just a couple of years ago. You know, Monopoly had Monopoly for socialists. Yeah. And they had you had the millennials, yeah. Monopoly for millennials, you know, they were mocking millennials. That was like one of our first big videos. Yeah, it was. It was. We first video we did that did over a hundred thousand. Uh, Monopoly for socialists, making fun of these people, and now Hasbro put out a statement that uh, times are changing, and we need to be more inclusive. And uh, Monopoly hurts people's feelings, I guess. Uh, I guess. So yeah, let's let's uh, let's talk about that. This article is coming from Outkick. Outkick Hasbro's diversity and inclusion departments next target monopoly. We're going to talk about that, but before we do, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 183,000 subs. Uh, we do talk about Monopoly because again, Monopoly for Millennials was our first video. Yep. We did a review. We bought a copy of it. Did over 100,000. It got it made. It's still one of our top videos. I think yep. it's it's in our top 10. So this is coming hot on the heels of the uh, Mr. Potato Head. Well, I'm sorry, just potato, potato persons. Head. You know, here's the thing. I potato don't mind person. them calling it this, the, what they call them, potato people, potato head. <laughs> they just call it, they call it potato people. That would have been funnier. Potato head. They're just calling it that. And I get that because, you know, hey, they have like little kid potato heads. They have boy and girl potato heads. They have IPs that are potato heads. That made sense. But they, they had to put it out there with the spin. That they had to do that they, they, they instead of just saying hey we're changing it and then giving the actual reasons why they're changing it they were trying to drum up attention yeah and you know cause a non-traversy uh to try to get people upset so that they'd get more media coverage and it seems like that's what they're trying to do here with uh, monopoly as well because the way they got the most attention from any of the monopoly stuff you know in the last how many years it's been over these these special edition ones yeah because most people don't play Mo monopoly anymore i mean they don't They've tried to do some stuff like this in the past before where they've, they've changed out the tokens. They had contests. And that's, they're doing another contest. But they've changed out the tokens. They had a, a card swipe device for a while. I remember that. They had, had that one, yeah. Yeah, they had like um, super rich uh, influencer monopoly and all these other variations. So, I, I mean, I guess it's not, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal. And I got to wonder if they won't still offer classic monopoly. But, you know, it's the... The PR spin, the virtue signaling right, that's that Hasbro is doing. Because it's like, I agree that community chess cards need to be updated because they are very, very old. Mm -hmm. um, and I agree with that. But, you know, that's what they're going to use it for. They're, they're, they're trying to use this, you know, spin to try to drop a Monopoly attention. To have the Monopoly on the attention, which we're giving it to them right now, actually. But, you know, it's another story. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, this is what the statement said or part of it they put out on the, the Hasbro website that they're about to change. Uh, covering topics like beauty contests, holiday funds, and life insurance, there's no denying that Monopoly's community chess cards are long overdue for a refresh, the company said in a statement. And coming out of the tumultuous year of 2020, the term community has taken on a whole new meaning. Hasbro is counting on their fans to help reflect what community means in their real lives in the Monopoly game by voting for new cards like Shop Local, Rescue a Puppy, or Help Your Neighbors. Well, I don't mind those. I really don't. But what are the other choices that they give in this in this uh, this vote thing? Well, let's let's go see. Um, pick the card from each matchup you'd like to see in the deck. Okay. So we've got uh, help your neighbor bring in her groceries. She makes you lunch and says thanks. Or meow, you knit cozy sweaters for the hairless cats at your local animal shelter. I know what you're going to pick. Yeah, that one. <laughs> so, Ta -da. Okay, but the, I mean, those aren't terrible. You organize a block party so people on your street can get to know each other. Or you pass out umbrellas to people standing at a bus stop on a rainy Monday morning. I would give the block party because that, all those umbrellas are going to be too expensive. But I don't, these aren't terrible. 
You rescue a puppy and you feel rescued too. Get out of jail free. I already know which one I want. Uh, your your friend your friend's video chat after a tough day. Get out of jail free. Puppy. Puppy. No question. We'll just go through a couple of these and see. You donate your birthday money to a community center. Keep a little for yourself. You should have donated all of it. You, you don't donate blood and there were free cookies. Oh, I don't know. Uh, 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 you pick one. You pick blood. Probably. <laughs> so. <laughs> Somebody needs a kidney? That's okay. Go ahead and take it. You buy a few bags of cookies from that school bake sale. Yum. You didn't shop local. Pay 50. Pay 50. You want to do that one? Okay. <laughs> you went to Walmart, you bastard. You bought this game from Walmart too, probably. Your fuzzy friends at the Animal Shoulder will be thankful for your donation. Pay 50. Your cousin forgot their wallet. You happily pay for dinner. Animal Shoulder. Anything animal related, Geeky's going to pick. You help your neighbors clean their yards up after a big storm. You organize a family reunion. You're less likely to get in a fight with your neighbors. Ooh. <laughs> like, you know, no, I mean, some of these people like, okay, I'm talking about Twitter people. Yeah. Am I wrong? How no. many people are on there? I don't even talk to my family anymore. They voted for the wrong person. Organize a bake sale for your local school, or you weed the community garden and discover a new bug, name it something fun. I'd rather do a bake sale than weed. <laughs> You'd rather do a bake sale. Sometimes <laughs> you can combine the two. That's right. That's uh, right. Just in some states, I think. <laughs> You organize a group to clean up your town's walking path. You volunteer your art skills and oh, paint a mural. I don't know. I'd pick both of those. You would do this. You did. I already did the first one. So, the second one. What else we got here? You held a neighborhood party, but you didn't recycle your trash. Well, that would not be me. You go to the local school's car wash fundraiser, but you forgot to close your window. That would that be me. You pick. You should volunteer for that home improvement project. You will have learned some valuable skills. I already know them. Graciously host a group of international students. I've done that. Appreciate the home cooking. Anyway, you guys get the idea, right? Uh, you guys get the idea. So that's what's going on now. If I knew now. how to do things better, I wouldn't have broken my finger with a hammer. Yeah, I know, right? But I got um, a nail gun. You did. You got a nail and gun. I used that nail gun after I broke my finger with a hammer. So what is going on here? They said that the world has changed a lot since Monopoly became a household name. I agree with that. Uh, says Eric Nyman, Chief Consumer Officer Hasbro. Felt like 2021 was a perfect time to give fans the opportunity to show the world what community means to them through voting on community chess cards. I don't hate this idea. I got to tell you, I really... Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> okay, these are beautiful, but I don't hate this idea. I think it's a good idea to update it. It's a good idea to have people vote, and it's a good idea to try to focus on community. I don't hate that. And they're not... I think they learned a lesson last time with their, their disastrous potato head... Um, you know, but go ahead. You want to read this really bad. I can tell. So these are the suggestions from the author, not from us, from author Joe Kinsey. His suggestions, <laughs> you started a, you start a riot, burn down an entire city. Don't go to jail. Okay. This is not us. Uh, you are assessed in extra government stimulus. <laughs> GME stock goes to the moon, collect $6,900, but then donate it to BLM because it's the right thing to do. Collect $1,000 from every player that makes over $100,000 a year. I'm sorry, it's funny. Save the butterflies. Collect a year's supply of meatless burgers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this person obviously has a very, very, uh, it has a political bent, but it's funny as hell. It's, uh, this is, Can I think, think this is. Can you think of any? I can't think of any because I'd be too nice. <sighs> Don't get kicked off of Twitter today. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Got kicked off of Twitter, pay $50, or pay $150 for the lawyer fees or something like that. So, so we're trying to figure out what could have prompted this. Called, called someone an alt-right Yahtzee. Oh my God, unprovoked, yeah. Unprovoked. Unprovoked. And, and, and Didn't get kicked off. Got sued for libel. Pay $200. <laughs> Did go fund me for the legal fees. Got all of the money you needed to fight the Yahtzees. Yeah, yeah there you um, go. Anyway, uh, Hasbro actually last year had a pretty good year um, because they had uh, Baby Yoda merch. They had the Mandalorian toys. The Mandalorian toys kicked ass for them. Yeah, and look what look what Disney did. I don't think they're going to kick ass this year. No. Uh, I really don't. So Hasbro, yeah, they made bank last year on Mandalorian toys. They said that uh, you know Mandalorian was selling really well, 70% over previous Star Wars sales. Not that that was... Difficult because no. the sequel stuff did not Basically, sell. the Mandalorian was the first thing people gave a crap about in how many years reg yeah. regarding Star Wars, related to Star Wars. Baby Yoda was just flying off the shelves. 
And then they had to go and cause controversy. Yep, they canceled the uh, canceled the Cara Dune figures, and I think a lot of people were probably going to just boycott at this point. But you're this pro- was, well, I agree with you. But you know. you're probably asking yourself, why now? Why do they care about Monopoly and traditional toys like this now? Well, there's a reason, because that's what we asked ourselves. Yeah. And here yeah. you go. Um, so they saw a surge in sales of traditional toys last year. And that's why we talked about Mattel being in bad shape. It's like, actually, they shouldn't be because Hasbro is doing really well. People are buying board games and staying at home and having you know game night, game afternoon, game morning because they're not going to work. They're not going to school. Yeah, they right? can your kids somehow. Right. Um, and Monopoly was doing really well. Yeah, I want to play Monopoly. I like Monopoly. You play. It takes forever, though. I know, but I like it. God, it's such a long game. I bet game. the kids would play Monopoly if we asked. They would. Anyway. They would. Uh, Squid King really likes board games. Mm-hmm. So he's, he's a big fan. But yeah, Monopoly and Operation were doing well and all of that. So uh, you have a theory as to what happened. Oh, I said that, that some kind of leadership change happened. Well, two things I asked. One, I thought maybe the stocks went down, but here when they went, or the, the toy sales went down, but they went up. Um, and my other theory was that there was there a leadership change because why are we suddenly seeing such a gigantic shift in in um just in general, the company and what they're going for. I think last year with all the riots and all the, the different things that people were demanding, all these things, that I think that caused some of the shift too. But I, I figured it had to be a leadership change. Yeah, they had a leadership change last year. Um, and in fact, this uh, Eric Nyman, he'd been at Hasbro for like a decade and a half, but he took over as the uh, uh, chief consumer officer. He's the guy who issued the, uh, the statement on why they were making these changes, probably had some involvement in the Mr. Potato Head thing, you know. So that that's part of it because, you know, obviously it's time to to make sure that everybody knows you're a good company. And the Mr. Potato Head thing wouldn't have blown up the way it had blown up if they had just been very clear that they were just changing the name to Potato Head in general because yeah. they offer Mr. Potato Head, Mrs. Potato Head, you know, what they call the little kids, the potato tot, 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 tot children, whatever the hell they call them. Yeah, hashling, hashling, uh, because they offer all those, and they also, like I said, have IP potato heads. That would make sense. They just said, "Hey, it makes more sense for a brand because we want to do more diverse things." People wouldn't have cared. The other theory you had before we started recording the video was that since more people are buying these board games and they're bored and they're at home and they're not their usual oh, yeah, customers, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're probably starting to nitpick I everything. Did say that, yes. So like, oh my god, I've got nothing better to do, but Monopoly is so problematic. I'm sure it is. You haven't played this game in years, and you pull it out to play it. You don't remember playing it since you were a kid, and then you're like, oh, this is the, what's this? Ugh. Oh my <laughs> god, this is like something some white man would make in the 1930s. I'm like, <laughs> I know, right? What the hell? Oh, they, they probably don't care if Mr. Monopoly stays to be a stays a, a white guy. They'll make him look like Trump. That'll be like you know that, 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 <laughs> that, 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 that's just the truth right there. Um, but anyway, I'm not. That, I can understand the changes here, and I don't think they're that bad. And I'm sure though that their classic Monopoly will still probably be available as well. Um, but it's just you know people are just gonna get all upset about everything. They they were much better about getting the news out on this. And they were including people on decisions on this as opposed to what they did with the potato heads. Yeah, I just I think we're going to see a lot of this sort of thing with Hasbro going forward because this does seem to be the the new initiative going into this this fiscal year. And at the end so. of the day, in like a few months when everybody then goes back to normal, no one's going to give a shit about Mr. Potato Head or Monopoly. Yeah, that's true. They're going to go outside. I can't wait for the new operation where they have to upgrade it to like, you know, influencers, like influencer operation where it's like you have to remove the implant, the breast implant. Oh, my God. Or you have to like, Collagen you know, injection. yeah, call you have to put you have to get the call or something, you know, something, you know, somebody did something stupid and got something stuck in their face. Pull it out. Someone got a Tide Pod stuck in their throat. <laughs> you know, pull it out. You know, I'm waiting for that. <sighs> All right. We're going to wrap this up. Yep. OK, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, news and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.